round two. Let's see if the doctor knows anything about what's wrong with me. I think she's pregnant. Good job, Ashley! I got a strike! My first strike! I'm playing this game that was only like 25 cents, but I got the jackpot. What? It's still going! It's testing time for Gigo again. Last time he was like, this, this time, is hopefully. Two we'll of three. So. Here we go. Mommy, I got done with my test. <gasps> you did? You finished it all the way? Yeah. Were you happy and nice with Allie? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that I get to get you a treat and bring it home. Kenyon has a really hard time when I'm not there doing schoolwork with him. And. He has a really hard time doing his testing. And so since the two hard things were gonna be all together at the same time, we had to do a little bit of motivation before we left today. So That's all right. yeah. So we talked to Canyon and we told him we'd get him a special treat if he was nice to Allie while he did his work and if he did his testing happy and nice. And Allie said he did fabulous and his scores were really good. And so now, we just can't forget to get his treat. Yeah, don't forget. <laughs> it is time. We made it. Oh, time to get out of the truck. Round two to find out what is your problem. I know, right? Let's see if you're pregnant. Let's see if the doctor knows anything about what's wrong with me. I think she's pregnant. Probably. She has all the symptoms for being pregnant, so why not just say you're pregnant? Just no uterus. Oh, yeah. You kind of need that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the not smartest babysitter. <laughs> We're filming a Tannerites video and I'm like, Lizzie, go stand <laughs> on this chair and get this thing up above. And then she, it's a spinny wheely chair. And I tell her, <laughs> I tell her to stand on it. So, needless to say, I went to high five her after the shot and she fell I jumped off. to go high five her. <laughs> And fell off the chair. So I need to tell my dad to watch the security the footage. Security camera footage. And send it to us. I found one. Mike made it happen. <laughs> we don't know what happened in the shop. He could be just taking credit for somebody else's work, but there's yeah. that. <laughs> Look at this. So the lights, come, come closer, Sarah. Get in there. So Mikey, tell us what's going on here. So this is, a, this is a six foot column. Yep. And back in here are light strips. Back in here, oh, light yeah. strips. So this is all gonna be lit up back here. So this will all be painted, and so this is recessed in with lights. Custom. Nobody else has these in the entire world. Nobody. I like it. No one. Okay. 15 minutes. We need to get this completely cleaned in 15 minutes. Okay. Okay? Completely. Completely. Ready? And go, 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 go! We're all done. We're all done with five minutes to spare. Woo! Five minutes, I don't know where As went. Five minutes to spare. Okay, go get your shoes on, dude, so we can go. First 
right. Oh. I think I get a hundred tickets. No way. I have no clue what it's gonna give to me, but I'm almost at 100. What? It's still going. It's at 215 and it's still going. I think it's, at, it's gonna go to 500. Holy cow. I wish it would count a little faster. I think it's saying at 226. I got 226 tickets from playing this one game that was only 25 cents. Wow, I'm definitely doing it again. here at uh, one of our rental properties and the grass or weeds out here is getting crazy my brother's actually been he wants um, to mow it <laughs> well <laughs> my nephew has actually mowed the mowed the grass and my brother's been over here just making sure things are good anyway this is the house that we bought and I can't get in here it's locked no oh, no it's not <laughs> um, and turns out that there this was uh, this was the house that had that we had to have um, mitigated for meth. And so um, we are just coming back to check things out after they went through and cleaned everything and hoping that we have a different outcome here inside than before in terms of the smell. It smells the same to me. Yeah, it smells a little bit cleaner. It smells clean. Yeah, it does actually smell clean, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. These walls right here, you can see that Sheen is a little bit different. So they had to do some crazy cleaning on the paint and some of the paint actually peeled off because of the chemicals that they used to clean with. Anyway, so we're gonna need to put some paint in these rooms, do something different in here. There's some crazy stuff happening, I don't know. I just don't know, people. I don't know what to think. It smells better in there for sure. Really? Yeah, it does. What do you think? Yeah. Oof. Ugh, it smells like cat pee. Ugh. It does? Yeah. Doesn't smell like that to me. <laughs> She's smelling something nasty and I don't know what. Ooh, yeah, it's like Where? cat pee. In that area right there. I don't know. This is gonna be a hard one. What are you looking for? There's no electrical control panel in this whole entire house. We've searched for how long? Half hour? Half hour. So there's a, well, the sprinkler wasn't working. So we went to check the wire and there's no power. So we go, okay, let's just go flip the breaker box. There isn't a breaker box anywhere in this house. This one right here, there's nothing. My, there's my hand might go through the wall. There's so I'm thinking, I wonder if it's behind this funky coat rack. It's that, not in the garage? That garage is an add-on. It would never be over in there. It, there is one out there, but it's, it's just for the garage. the garage. So yes, there is one in the garage, but it's just for that power. <laughs> this thing gets weirder and weirder by the second. Turn that wall But off. I'm thinking it's behind here. There's no panel back there unless it's higher up. All right, I guess we've been making you guys wait long enough. <laughs> You want to know the results of what the doctor said. Which for you, it's like three minutes. For us, it's like... All day. All day. Here's the problem. We just got a bottle with a regular cap on it, and we don't have a bottle open. Right that now. is a problem. Um, so the doctor said the MRI looked fine, just like the scan. Um, he says that it could be scar tissue in that spot. And he, like when he was filling it, he felt something there. The only thing is scar tissue usually happens Earlier. right after surgery, not six years later. So he wants me to come back in three months and get checked again and do a scan. Um, because if it is going to come back, if it is the desmoid tumor coming back, he wants to catch it early. It's a slow growing tumor. 
Um, it was really cool. He like looked on the, there's a doctor database where they can see anything that's been researched. And so he was looking up the statistics of desmoid tumors coming back. And for people that did not have radiation, 60% of the people, the tumor came back within five years. And um, for people who did have radiation, it dropped off Significant. significantly. And he said that the time period of the tumors coming back was between five and 10 years. And so we're right in that place right now since it's been six years. So he wants to just keep a close eye on it, especially since I'm having symptoms and he doesn't know what the symptoms are from. So we're going to keep a close eye on it, go back in three months. And if it seems to get any worse, then I should call him immediately. And if it is something growing, if it's gotten bigger since last time, he will probably want to do a biopsy. But all of those things are just if it changes in the next three months. So for now, I will just feel like I'm pregnant and go on living every day the best it could be. <laughs> We're driving home now. It's only really late. It's 11, after 11, we're gonna get home at two o'clock a.m. if we don't stop. So Johnny got this thing, this devil juice. <laughs> it's not really devil juice, it's just, he never drinks caffeine and so that's to keep him awake. Well, we made it home. I zonked out in the car and Johnny is so great to just drive all the way home and make sure we go home safe. I appreciate him so much. I also appreciate you. Um, I am just blown away by the love and support that you give me. I've gotten so many sweet messages of love and that you guys wish me the best with my health and you are praying for me and you love me. And that is just so amazing to me. Thank you so much. I really, love and appreciate every single one of you and i hope that you know that and i want you to always remember that you are worth it bye guys